we had a cheese shop and uh, it's crazy. So many kinds of cheese here. All right, what do we order here? We're on the streets of Paris and uh, walking up to uh, one of the uh, well-known barbecue, American barbecue restaurants here in Paris is Melt. It's a slow smoked barbecue. Can't wait to try their barbecue, see how it fares. Uh, this joint I believe is owned by Jeff Howard or he's the pit master from uh, Pecan Lodge in Dallas and he's helped a couple of French owners open this restaurant. So let's go in and see what they have to offer. Hi, how are you? Do we order uh, here? Or yeah, yeah. Sit? Okay. You uh, what's, your, what's your name, sir? Uh, Enzo, nice to meet you. Enzo? Yeah. Enzo, I'm Harry. Okay, nice to From, meet you, Harry. Uh, Sorry, Daddy, Barbecue here. You can see on the left, uh, oh. one, uh, one oh. of the boss. Uh, Alright, one of the boss. So tell me about your, your, your idea of restaurant. How, how did you get started? We started, we worked in New York for a year and a half with my partner. Okay. So, and we discovered barbecue over there at a place called Mighty Queens. Mighty Queens, okay. So we ended up on a contract there and went to Texas for eight months and a half. Okay. Try out all the barbecue spots we could. Uh, all right, yeah. and you do traditional American style. Yes. And uh, were you able to find like brisket and everything here? So we don't. The meat, the beef is imported from the U.S. Uh huh. Oh, from imported from the U.S. Yes. Wow. Sorry about that. Okay. It's imported, and the rest of the meat is fresh. So you have a uh, like a, what what kind of beef do you import? Angus prime. Just black and gas fried. Black and gas fried from US, so yes. imported here. Okay. Okay. How is how is business so far? Very good. good. Do uh, do Parisian like American barbecue? They love it. They love, they love it. it. It's the first. A lot of people discover it for the first time. Okay, so they, they're, not, they're not used to this kind of food, right? No, because uh, no, every, I, every restaurant I eat in Paris is so finesse, so beautiful. And uh, small pieces of uh, vegetable, small pieces of uh, fish. Everything is bigger in the US. So uh, what, what is your most popular item that you sell here? Brisket. Uh, Brisket is most popular. That's how people discover the uh, so they like the fatty or they like the lean here? More the fatty. More the fatty. So they put the, you serve the point with it, right? Okay. And you do traditional style, just Texas salt and pepper? Uh, we put no, uh, all the other... That's Jeff's recipe. Just recipe, okay. So you have a little bit of garlic powder, yeah, onion powder, little maybe a little bit of paprika, a little bit of celery seed. Exactly. Yeah. Hey everybody, I'm at the uh, Melt restaurant in Paris, in France, and I'm super excited to try American style barbecue at this restaurant called Melt. They're owned by a couple of Frenchmen. One is Antoine and his partner. They learned how to cook barbecue from Jeff Howard from uh, Pecan Lodge in Texas, Dallas, and uh, they trained in te Texas. And they also trained in New York City, and they are now here in Paris is having one of the top American style barbecue restaurants. I'm super excited to try their food here. We'll run you guys through all the things I'm going to be eating, including some specials from Paris, such as Brussels sprouts, which you will not find in America. All right, so Enzo, Enzo's going to give us a rundown on the food here. So Enzo, so, what, what do we have here? here? Spare ribs here, pork belly here, okay? Okay, yeah. tell me something about pork belly, because we don't usually have this in America. This is French. Yeah, Poisson, exactly. Poisson, the, the, Poisson? Chest, the chest of the pork. Straight to the pork, yeah, yeah it's very special. Uh, lots of fat, that's a fatty meat. Fatty meat, okay. Yeah. And you get the brisket just here. Brisket just here, okay. Yeah. And then this one is your famous potato salad? Yeah, potato salad, yeah, exactly. Potato salad. The Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts and a bit special. of pulled pork here. Pulled pork here, and then yeah. the sauces are yeah, different. The, the vinegar sausage for the, the sauce for the pulled pork, and the homemade BBQ sauce for the for all the, all the other meats. Okay, and then what style is your barbecue sauce? Uh, is it sweet? Spicy, no, not, not, not sweet, sweet, not spicy. You're not gonna sweet. try. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna try. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so Antoine gave me a rundown. Here's their famous French potato salad. Of course, I had all the French fries, homemade in uh, Paris. We got their brisket. Looks really good here. Pork belly. Their famous rib. Uh, some Texas style pickles. They've got a little barbecue sauce here, which I'm gonna try. And of course, you're in uh, Paris. You've got to have some uh, Brussels sprouts and. Uh, of course, some pulled pork, and the pulled pork has its own tangy sauce right here. All right, let's try the uh, French fries. Of course, you could have that French fry here. Okay, let's give the uh, brisket a go. So I, I got a little bit of the point and the flat, and a super juicy, nice smoke ring. 
So here's the fatty and here's the lean or the slice and then the point here. Take a bite of that. Super tender. All right, right here. All right, the, uh, the flat is really on point. Really, really good. Uh, smoky, not too much smokiness. The tenderness is about perfect. Not as salty as what I'm used to, but uh, you know, I noticed, I noticed in uh, Paris, a lot of the food that we eat are not very heavily salted, so I guess that's to local flavor. Uh, in America, we would salt this a little bit more, but that's okay. Here's the point, muscle, burn in. So they don't serve a separate burn in cube. So the burn in is part of a slice. Got a little bit of fat here on the side. Beautiful bark here on the dark bark. I'm gonna give you a bite here. Super moist point, uh, very delicious. Uh, peppery, smoky, really, really on point. Uh, just cut, it's kind of like a slice, uh, not like a typical burn end in America. Okay, so let's try something very new. This is cochon, which is a pig uh, pork belly. A nice smoke ring you can see here, and uh, very tender. So this is something that we don't typically find in America, but we'll give it a bite here. Absolutely fantastic. Um, they should do this in America. This is a great idea. Nice crunchy chicharroni style skin. Uh, it's kind of salt and pepper rub. Beautiful bark on both sides. Super moist and tender, salty, porky. Excellent, excellent flavor here. So we're gonna have to definitely add this to the uh, menu in America to make some uh, pork belly barbecue. I'm gonna take a second bite now, it's so good. Okay, next up is the rib, and this is a te Texas style spare rib. Good size, very, very meaty. You can see a uh, beautiful smoke ring here. We could take a bite out of it, kind of like a simple salt and pepper crust. Very, very promising, let me take a bite. Super tender. Uh, cooked uh, for retail restaurant, so it's falling off the bone, but that's how people like it here. Uh, just observation, the membrane is left on. I'm like uh, some people who like to take the membrane off, but that, I'm fine with that. So whether the membrane off or membrane off is fine. Uh, super tender, you can see here, it's absolutely juicy and tender. Look at that. Very, very moist, very well cooked. Uh, perfect, perfectly cooked uh, pork spare rib here, right here. I'm gonna take another bite right here. Again, uh, just needs a tad more salt. The uh, brisket was under salted and uh, the point was, was fine. But uh, again, like I mentioned earlier in Paris, they seem to like things less salty. So this is probably salted the kind of the way the locals like it. All right, let's move on to the uh, sauce. Let's give you the, the sauce a taste test here. I'm gonna dip some of the spare rib in the sauce, kind of Texas style sauce. A uh, very typical case, a bit like a uh, like a stubs or cattleman, not very sweet, little vinegar tang, and uh, works really well with the meat, has a little bit of a tang, and I'm going to try now the uh, sauce to go with the pulled pork, so here's the uh, Carolina style vinegar sauce. So pulled pork is pretty typical, uh, it's uh, really cooked until it's really tender and a little bit mushy, sort of a little neutral flavor, not, not, not very strongly seasoned. I think the vinegar helps a little bit here. Let me give it another shot here. I all in all, a decent pulled pork. Um, nothing to write home about, but pretty decent pulled pork. Nice smoke ring and a nice tenderness. All right, so uh, I had a chance to try the meat. They were absolutely fabulous. Uh, the uh, brisket was on point. The uh, ribs were on point. The uh, pork belly was actually a surprise. It was very, absolutely fabulous. I don't know why more uh, barbecue restaurants in America don't serve the uh, pork belly. It was absolutely fabulous. The uh, pulled pork was kind of neutral, about average. Not, nothing to write home about. Try the barbecue sauce also. Uh, the uh, sauce is kind of like very Texas style, not very sweet. So I'm going to have in front here is something that you only find in Paris. These are Brussels sprouts. Uh, kind of, kind of. Uh, they look like they're grilled with some kind of a uh, cube, uh, coriander. Could give it a shot here. Uh, Brussels sprouts, not found in America, but I think in Paris it works really well here. Your food is excellent. Thank you, guys. Uh, excellent thank food. Thank uh, you very the much. brisket's on point. Yeah. Uh, I noticed uh, in Paris, yeah. they don't salt the food so much. Yeah, People yeah, here yeah, don't yeah, like salty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And exactly. I, I noticed that also. In all the restaurants I ate, there is salt very light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's very good, very good barbecue. Okay, the, cook, the, the, cook, the, the cooking is. The, tell, tell, tell. And I, I'm going to tell Anton, okay. Very good. Thank very you, good. guys. Thank you. Okay, all right. I'll let this get potato salad go. This looks really very fancy. It's got dill on it. I think it's served cold, so it's a cold potato salad. Very good. Uh, traditional pickle, pretty regular. The fry, the Brussels sprouts were fantastic. Overall, I thought the food was very, very good. Uh, the spare ribs were spot on with the beautiful smoke ring, super tender and moist. The uh, brisket was also very, very good, very tender. I got a slice of the uh, point and the uh, fat, fatty muscle. 
uh, connected together. They don't cut the uh, burn ends here for you, but uh, it's in a slice. Potato salad was above average, very, very fancy potato salad. Fries were fresh cut fries, a Parisian style. And uh, fried Brussels sprouts was a great uh, addition. What was interesting is they had the uh, pork belly right here. I think all barbecue restaurants in America should still pork belly, barbecue this way. Uh, super delicious, uh, kind of a bark on it. And the uh, pork was about average. So all in all, the food was very good at Melt, uh, worthy of a second visit, definitely. If you were to eat this in Texas or in America, this restaurant would be able to hold its own against all the other barbecue great restaurants in America. Uh, just a side note here, Parisians don't like food that's salty. So a lot of the food here, a little bit undersalted for my liking, but uh, overall, just great flavor. If you just add some salt on it, it'll take you back to Texas, and you won't be able to tell whether you're eating here or you're eating a, a Pecan Lodge or a Franklin. So overall, excellent American barbecue in Paris. I'm very, very impressed by the work of the Antoine and uh, his crew. Absolutely fantastic food at the Melt Restaurant in Paris. Yeah.